explains how the department roster is updated in web tracks. From attendance module, the option is under the department roster. When you open the screen by default, it will display the current month and the year. At every beginning of the attendance period, user has to click the refresh roster button. Once the roster attendance period has been created, user can now start updating the off days and the shifts of all the employees. The roster can be searched either by main department, department, or by employee. If you want to see all the roster for all the employees, click search button. The attendance period in the roster can be either 21st to 20th or 16 to 15 or 1 to 30 depending on the user. The roster has to be updated on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or every end of the attendance period. As long as the roster is updated before the cutoff, then there is no issue. However, once the payroll is in process, the user has the option to lock the attendance period so the roster will not be able to be modified anymore. This is how the roster looks like. You can see on the leftmost column is the ID of the employee, followed by the name. You will be able to see here the opening balances of the weekly off, public holidays, and due days. Refresh option I will explain later on. And on the right side, you will see all of the off days of the employee highlighted in pink color. By default, when creating the roster, the off days will be automatically assigned based on the default off day assigned in the employee profile. On top, you can see the period starts for 21st and ends on the 20th of the next month. There are two major activity that has to be done on the roster. The first part is to update the employees of days and second part is to update the employees shift. Updating the shift of the employees can be done as follows you select for that particular person and one by one update the shifts as you can see each of the day i can go one by one and select the shifts assigned on top please refer to the video on how to add edit shifts. So I can update the shifts of the employee until the end of the attendance period. If in case the shift may be different than as per the assigned roster, user can still go back and amend as long as the period is still open. Once all the changes are done, do not forget to click the save button. In the next part of the video, I will tell you another method of updating the shift of all the employees. Take note, this procedure is applicable only if the shift of the employee will not change for the entire period. 
So in this case, this may be applicable only to employees that is in the admin position. Example, HR, Finance, GM's office. In their scenario, their shifts are only fixed hours regardless of what day and which month. In this case, you select the shift that you want to assign to this person. You click the box beside the shift under the refresh column and you click refresh roster button. Click yes and wait after it process. After it process, the shift R1 will automatically be assigned to all of the days As you can see, after it has processed, the shift R1 has now been assigned to all of the days for this particular employee. Now, let's move on to the process of how to update the employee's off day. In cases where the employee's off are falling on different dates, It means the off is not fixed for the whole period then you can update shift no, sorry the off days according to the date it falls so in this case for example the off of the employee is not on Friday but it will be on Sunday the following week the off of the employee will not be Friday but it will be Saturday so you can go employee wise for each of the day and then change what is the off day to be given after you have assigned all the off days again then proceed to clicking save photo Please refer to the video on the attendance overview to understand the whole process of how attendance is done in web WebPayTrax. Once the roster has been updated, user can now generate the report. The report that will generate will mention what is the status assigned for that particular for that particular day. It will also mention what is the shift number assigned for that particular day and what is the start time and the end time of that employee for that particular day. Let me scroll to the right leftmost side. You can see the ID, the name of the employee, 
and on the rightmost side you can see the total how many things are present how many things are off and how many things are others now let's talk about the point if in case the employee is on leave when an employee goes for leave a leave document has to be created by the HR or by the concerned person from the personal module once this particular leave document has been approved that particular days will automatically reflect on the department roster we have a button here called updating documents which will update all the days the employee has a leave created in the personal module. So take note, if any employee will go on a vacation or is already on vacation, there is no need to manually update the roster as leave for these days. It will come automatically upon clicking update leave logs. Take note, it is very important to update the roster correctly, either as present or off date, since this will be the basis for generating the final attendance in the system.